Did yes. I do uh, angry East Coast comics? No, I don't it's, think so. It's New York or Boston. I like the premise of a guy who's his idea is predicated on being angry and disappointed, who becomes incredibly successful, but still has to conjure up anger. <laughs> you know what drives me fucking nuts? <laughs> fucking meter mates, you know? Driving a fucking golf cart around, paying my ticket drives me nuts. How you doing? I got, you know, I got property. You know, I got some condos in Santa Monica. I got a castle in Switzerland. What's your net worth? About 150 million. But you know what drives me out of my fucking mind? <laughs> Convertibles. Put a fucking roof on the car. <laughs> <laughs> you're driving around with no fucking roof. Who you think you are? You know what drives me nuts? What's Cyclone that? fences. What? Get a fucking fence. What do you got? Holes in the thing? So you're saying you're worth about 150 million? I and got about 150 million large. I just bought an apartment building on the west side. It's looking pretty good. Would you say, close would you say most of your dreams in life have come true? Yeah, you know, I own a lot of property. I'm yeah. pretty much set. Wow, you know, I, got, really I got a G5. I fly in that. I go sounds to Europe. Incredible. And you're, you're happily married and you got kids and everyone's healthy. Every Everything's good. So but what's you, bugging you these what's days? What's driving me nuts? You know what drives me out of my fucking mind, what's ladies that? and gentlemen? Tables. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't hold a beverage? You gotta put a fucking beverage on a fucking table? Hold your fucking drink! Drives me out of my mind! Now I gotta go to I gotta go to get my suit fit and you know, I'm buying a ten thousand dollar suit. But you know what drives me out of my mind? <laughs> fucking skull. Oh, what's that? What's that? Cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a food product? Is it air? What the fuck? <laughs> I love that the more stuff that happens great for this guy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then, hey, guess what? You just, uh, yeah, through some weird codicil <laughs> in an old manuscript, you now own most of Maui. <laughs> we just realized, and so it's been ceded to you. It's now, you You now own all of Maui, and you get to own it, yeah. and you can sell it if you want. You're now the yeah, richest man in the world. I got an island, but yeah. you know what drives me out of, What's my, that? out of my mind? What's that? Curly fries. <laughs> <laughs> fucking have a straight fly. What am I gonna do with a fucking silky fucking? What do you do with a curly fry? Give me a regular fucking fry. It drives me nuts. I'm buying a yacht. <laughs> you know this is un this is unprecedented. Uh, I just got word, and no human uh, and has ever been told this in the history of civilization. But I've just been told that uh, there has been direct communication with God, and you are going to heaven, and you will enjoy heaven uh, and the entire afterlife for all eternity. All of your dreams and wishes will come true, and you'll see all your loved ones. It's been verified you're going to heaven no matter <laughs> what, what you that? do. <laughs> You know what drives him out of my fucking mind? Yeah, uh -huh. Spatulas. <laughs> <laughs> you can scrape it with a spoon or a regular knife. A spatula is nothing. It's a big old fucking knife. I would call it a fucking... Drives me out of my fucking mind. Uh, that's now, great. Pardon me. That's great. I always feel, in a weird way... I'm swearing a lot on no, this No, no, no. Don't, don't worry about it. What is this, for Nick at Night? Take it easy. That's very no, you know what, Nick at Night. No, but you know what? It's, it is Nick funny because <laughs> the person it makes me think about sometimes, it's, a, it's almost touching a little on Seinfeld unintentionally. But you know the way everything mm -hmm. has gone right for him in every way possible? Jerry is very but wealthy. He, yeah. But he's yeah, very wealthy and beloved and mm -hmm. everything always yeah. goes his way, but he still has to go like, you know, I got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you really don't. You yeah, really don't that's have a problem. true. You know more I mean? benign than this character, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, still yeah. Like, oh, yeah, no, he's not mad, but yeah. it's just he's still got to come up People with stuff. People are annoying. <laughs> Jerry, is there anything wrong? Do you have any problems? No. <laughs> is anything sad? Yeah, but he's... Uh, He's, he and Leno. Oh, sorry. That's Whoops. okay. Well, oh. come on. What are you talking about? Ah. It's been eleven years. People he with uh, away. has ways of God <laughs> rest his soul. They haven't told him yet. Um, just people with like way. You know, Jerry was always kind of. He's like maybe two years older than me, but he was very much kind of in a superior position. Put it that way, or like yes, a yes. father figure. Or, yeah, you know, yeah. because Jerry was such a scientist about doing stand up and you know, well you need more punchlines. Check your setup. You know, he would advise you. I don't know what character this is. I <laughs> I blew my voice out on the other guy. <laughs> you don't trust me fucking nuts you're on a fucking podcast. The guy set you up for a half hour. Your vocal cords are shredded. You got another forty five minutes. Whenever I think about Jerry it just always goes back to who are these people? That's yeah. I, I always go to that for some reason. I'm not saying that's a good Jerry Seinfeld because it is but I just was like, who are all these people, you know, who are making these sneakers? I went for the, I don't know if I did this on our deep dive, but I 
do like doing it because it's such such a non sequitur. Jerry Seinfeld as a serial killer. Uh huh. What, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna take out your pancreas and cut around here. <laughs> then we're gonna go right in there. You know that other rhythm he does? Yeah, yeah. Like I think I'm the guy to be president. I think I can cut out this. We'll take your kidneys. Go like that. So, so. <laughs> That's that <laughs> that other rhythm because it's like who are these people? Is up here, uh-huh. and then it's the guy who goes down here. I think I could do that. So he put on. That's the one right. layer that I think Jimmy Fallon should do because he does an incredible. Yeah, he does a great one. <laughs>